There's a lot of things I'm trying to juggle at this moment. The collisions. Oh, okay, there we go. Because I was doing that. See, that's why I didn't want to pause. And the, finally, the time I do pause, it does that. Okay, now they've got two here. This is grasslands. Where are the rivers? Is this another one where there's a river everywhere? Yeah. There's literally one everywhere again, Jesus. This is 55,000. We only ha we have like 71,000, so we should be okay. I think we'll be okay if we attack them. We'll get them on the 15th of April. 14th. Okay, you wait two days. 16th. There we go. Perfect. So that should be enough to take them down, especially with our increased morale. And that should be their main army. So once that army's been pushed back, we should be okay. And there we go. Come on, men. You can, I believe in you. Your emperor, Wolfark, believes in you. Use the, the wolf. Use the wolf. And there we go. Perfect. So we defeat them there. They're going to run back through Constantine. Perfect. Okay. So I've occupied that. Uh, we'll move our armies. So plan them at 63. Okay, let's just move our armies here then. Our ally is going to stay there. How about our ally stay there? Yeah. They've taken this. And we can't move because we need to take that. And we can't move there until we've taken this. So once that's fallen, we'll move these guys there. Then those guys will take these two. And that's most of the land over here fallen then. Yeah, they're going to stay there. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to join my armies together. I like having like about 20,000 men. They're going to move an army over here, which is annoying. So I'm going to move my men back. I don't want to suffer too much attrition. And it makes sense to have one army. There we go. It makes sense. To... No, stop moving around. What are you doing? Okay, I'm just going to keep them separate. So whoever he attacks, I'm going to defend. Yeah, Annals. It's basically just Annals at the moment. But good, okay. We'll get to converting them later. But for now, I think religiously... Um, Reformed, I would say, is bigger than Protestant, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's basically just me, but I'm basically bigger than the whole of the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, the Catholics have done exceedingly well, um, to be honest. The Catholics have done really well. They're basically just Catholic in the whole of the New World, apart from up here. But yeah, I wonder if we can see the ledger for the religions. Military, uh, country, economy, relations? No, country, yeah? Is there something to see like, how many religions there are? Trade, relations? I've never looked for religions. Religions. Here we go. Countries or provinces. Let's go for provinces. So, Catholic is the biggest, so 720. Sunni is second. Reformed is third, but far, far behind. Um, then Animist, and then Protestant. And then Confucianism. And Totemist. The only ones with 100, but those two are by far the biggest, Catholic and Sunny. Jesus, countries? Mine would be tiny. Reformed is like... Where's Reformed? Did we go past it? Reformed is 12. Okay, 12, that's not too bad. Actually, we're with the fifth highest when it comes to the number of countries. That's actually not too bad. Uh, Hindu, Protestant, Sunni, and Catholic. Okay, well, let's go off that. Oh, we took that. I did not even notice. Perfect. We can go take in those. That will finish that off. Um, the Ottomans are going to take quite a while to kind of reform. And until then, we can just continue to siege them out. Uh, my allies have gone flying off somewhere, which is not what I want to see. Don't know where the hell he's going. Have you been attacked by someone else? No. Can't believe I've had to help this guy in his bloody war. The only reason I'm even here is because he decided to attack them. I'm not saying it's terrible, obviously. It is kind of good because... We want to attack, obviously, Ottomans, but still. It's still frustrating. Okay. Trade just, We've lost the trade dispute against the Caribbean. Okay, I mean, it's probably they've stopped that then. Uh, Bulgaria's gone back to that... What did you... you going back to your homelands while I'm fighting your bloody war? God damn you, Bulgaria. God damn you. I should spend my money. Let's spend some money. Don't know why I clicked that. Uh, buildings. Let's have a quick look. How about we do one of these star forts? Let's do a star fort. Now, we could do a star fort here. The star fort there. I should want to do my capital as a star fort. Then we don't need it to be a star fort, do we? I'm just worried about the people over here. I guess we'd be worried about Scandinavia. That's actually a good point. Huh. That is a point. I should be worried about 
Scandinavia. So maybe I should do this one. Yeah, we'll do that. Costs a lot of money, but it'll be worth it. Okay, that's what I'm going to spend my money on. <laughs> spend it all on the fort. Once we have a thousand again, I'll spend money again. But as long as I have a thousand, I always know I can get mercenaries and stuff then. So it's quite nice to have that back in. Native Horizon. And we won. Perfect. You took that, of course. So go here. Okay. Still don't see the Ottoman armies. You could probably go and take this one after this is done. And he just keeps going between the two. Just so annoying. Damn AI sometimes. AI can be ridiculous sometimes. Okay, it's going to take a while for that to fall. But it will fall. They will fall. And we got that. So how about you come all the way down here and start taking out those two. Uh, the Bulgarian armies are kind of moving. What, are they going down there? Are you heading there? I have no idea what they're doing. The ports are blockaded. That's fine. I'm guessing that's up here. No, it's up here. Ah. My army was... No, my army was not attacked. Okay, I thought maybe my fleet up here was attacked and they were docked. But no, they're just normal. Okay, we'll leave it for now. I guess maybe these are blockaded. That's why they count as mine because I control them, possibly. That could be what it means. Tribine. Okay. No one wants to work. This is not quite the plan. We lost some money, but that's fine. We're, we're kind of rolling in money right now. So I'm not too bothered. Rebel uprising. 50%. It's not too bad. Okay, we're controlling the nation fine. Now I'm going to have to separate piece the Ottomans. What, what could we want? Like, I, I don't want the lands down here. I, I'm fine with kind of going into eastern, uh, sorry, into western Europe, Germany. I don't need the lands down here, personally. Revoke cause. Return cause. Georgia. Trebizond. Yeah, I don't want that. Release nations. Let's have a look at the nations again. I always look at this every time. Let's have a quick look again. Albania. We could release Albania. It's only 12. Come out. Mamluks across the whole thing. I'm thinking Mamluks. Just because I love the idea of kick, basically kicking them out of Africa. I mean, they're not completely kicked out, but that doesn't give them a big enemy to kind of have to fight down there. So that, I feel that would be a nice one to have. Now, if we didn't do that, and force, can you force religion? That would be hilarious, but we can't apparently. Yeah, I'm thinking we should just release Mamluks this time. I mean, I would like to release the lands up here, but we can't really do that. I mean... I mean, we can get Albania, and that's it. I guess we could cede provinces. But if I leave the war too early, that means Bulgaria cannot make peace. <laughs> that means Bulgaria can't take the things they want. Which is kind of frustrating for them, I guess. Yeah, that could be bad for them, actually. I'm not sure they could win on their own. But I, I would like them to get some stuff. But at the moment, they're kind of, uh, they got one thing. I do want to release the Mamluks so bad. Should I, should I give these? Should I give these over to uh, my person? Fully maintained. Can I give it back to my boss? Click to transfer control points to a war ally. There we go. I'm thinking we might transfer. Uh, these places to Bulgaria. Because I would like to see Bulgaria, you know, get stronger. You know? That would kind of be the thing. Yeah, let's transfer these to Bulgaria. Go on. Bulgaria, you can take as much land as you want. Just weaken them. I I'm not going to get... We want to kick them out of Europe, to be honest. Yeah. Try to kick them out of Europe. That's what we plan. This will also increase the war score for them, so. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to let Bulgaria have it all, so then Bulgaria can obviously do whatever they want with it. They could take all this land and whatnot. Um, they can do what they want. Personally, I, I would release the Mamluks, but I don't think we're going to get 100%. Well, I guess we could keep pushing it, but 
you know what, I'm just not too bothered. I find it weird if we just kick the Mamluks out, um, then they'll fight Bulgaria against the Mamluk, uh, the Ottomans, and I think the Ottomans would even win, even though we defeat them quite a bit. They still have a lot of soldiers, and of course they have really good manpower, so I think they would still defeat Bohemia. So if I left the war, they'd be screwed, and then Ottomans would probably just take back the land they've lost. So I might as well just give it to them, so at least then we can go out together. And plus he'll like me more as well, so... And this didn't really hurt me. I didn't lose anything for this war, really. Did I put one of my armies together? I feel like this one's too big. Yeah, I must have accidentally put this one together. Oh, well. It's fine. Having one big army is okay. Then one medium, and then two small. Yeah, perfect. We could probably build some more soldiers. We can build seven more soldiers. Okay, I'm not too bored for now. We'll just keep making the money. And whenever Bulgaria wants to peace out, we can peace out. That's the plan for now. It's up to them. But I'm not going to increase the speed just in case the Ottomans just appear suddenly. A bit worried about that. Um, it's failed to do their holy duties as a doomsday. Uh, some of them are still alive, apparently. Yeah, Munster, look at this. They're just having problems after problems. At least they didn't lose too much to Scandinavia. Looks like they lost nothing. Scandinavia took nothing from them. Which is good to see. Nassau. Yeah. Okay, very good. Good to see them just falling apart. I like that. Spain can't even take on Aragon. I guess they do have Britain as their ally, though. Have a look in the New World. Let's look at the uh, rebels. 50, lots of 50%. Um, I've got one colonist I can do, actually. Not even paying attention. Prussian Canada is this one. This one's not done yet. That one's not done either. Okay, we'll leave it for now. I can just imagine the one time where I kind of zone off and wander off somewhere else is when the Autumn Sun will appear with 50,000 men and destroy me. Okay, move these guys over here, the Burgas. They've done what they needed to do. That should give Bulgaria almost what they want. Once we take this, I think we'll have basically what they want. Now, let's give that to them as well. Perfect. Yeah, so once we've taken this down here, I think they should have enough to be able to do what they want. Colony self-sustaining. Perfect. Another colonist. Now, I could go to other parts of the world and try and colonize, but there doesn't seem much point. I think Asia and Africa, from what I've seen, have basically just been colonized. There's not much we can do about that. We'd have to go down here, maybe, and yet yeah, there's only a couple of places, and it doesn't seem worth it to have like a really small place there. Brittany is doing a great. It's doing a great. That must be stronger than even Brittany itself. I mean, actually, it's not even a colony, huh? It's not a colony. Why is that? Did they move their capital? They must have moved their capital there, because that would seem weird that it's not for some reason. I had no idea where the capital Oh, there it is. Yeah, Brittany moved their capital to here. Interesting. Duchess Cladine Bourbon. Oh, she's a Bourbon. No one else of her family dynasty, though. Okay. Just seeing if anything else has been going on we haven't noticed, maybe, while we've been in our wars. Nope, looks like it's fine. Perfect. Still lots of ships, but they can't really do much right now. Slowly, slowly sieging them out. Hopefully we can take this soon. Let's increase the speed. Not too worried now. I think we can increase the speed and we'll incur no wrath. From what I can tell. Okay, 70%. Yeah, we need to deal with this. Um, into a core promise. Yes, we can do that now, which is good. We should lower this at least below 50%, I feel. And harsh treatment. There we go. Perfect. Done and done. That's got to end now. Come on. That has to be it. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. So we're giving it all to Bulgaria. Um, might as well just go take this piece. I mean, we can't hold it. If we move, it's gone. But we might as well go try and take it. Colonists all done. So I should probably go look in the new world. Let's have a quick look. What can we do here? I, I hate this color over here. 
I really hate that because it just seems so dumb because you have no idea. Like it just ugh, all looks the same. That one's been done. It's kind of I think it's a river there. Is that a river? No, I'm not sure. Eerie. We could go along here. Kind of going up into here. Piscatang. Soto. Let's go into that one and move you there. And we'll go into Erie, I guess. Yeah, we'll go there. Might as well. Okay, that's what we're going to do for now. So that's all the colonists done. So we're continuing our con colonial expansion. Augsburg. Uh, we won that battle. Uh, Cancel the right to access. Okay, let's have a look at their subjects. Liberty desire is still quite low. Their armies are still kind of the same as they were before. Nothing we need to do over there. That's fine. Good, good colonies. Just keep doing what you're doing. We like that. And there we go. We took that as well. And we'll give up the Bulgaria. Uh, culture has been changed. Okay, so 61%. I don't know what Bulgaria are waiting for. I don't know what more they want. Um, they just want to see the world burn. We're going to keep our men here, obviously, because otherwise this fort will take... I guess we could try and move to the fort. There's a chance that maybe the boat can't get there in time. Yep, okay, we were able to get there. The boats were not able to come back here. Perfect, and Bulgaria's even helping. So there we go, we can take this as well. So we've basically taken all the land they have in Europe. At least, I mean, I mean, at least this section, you know, cut off from here. I call that Europe, but I mean, some people might say that this part here is Europe, or even this part's Europe, or even this part is Europe. It's really hard to tell sometimes the definition of Europe. Some people say Europe kind of cuts here. But it, I guess it depends who you ask. Is it a cultural thing, you know, being European, I guess, you know? And do these people feel their culture is European? I don't know. Obviously, Turkey does want to join the European Union, so... But that's a political thing. That's not a cultural thing. It's a very complicated matter. And obviously, a long time, you know, Greeks and stuff controlled this land, you know. Bleh. I think a lot of people define this land as being Middle Eastern because they kind of see it as the religious thing, you know, obviously, because the land around here has usually been, you know... Uh, 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 Muslim or Islam land. Um, so they kind of define it as being part of here, but I'm not sure if you should. it's that simple to define it like that. The Siege of Corfu. There we go. Perfect. Okay, move these guys out of here. Let's just go over here. So that's all the land taken that we can take without crossing. And at the moment, I do not see his armies at all. I think he's just growing his armies. But yeah... But I can't make peace. Nobles ally with foreign powers. The nobility was fully subjugated during this age, and the nobles could and did strike. So it was not fully subjugated. Independent alliances with foreign princes. They will pay for this treachery. We'll deal with them later. Prestige or administration? I'm going to go for prestige. We need the administration right now to get our cause and whatnot. But I'm basically now just waiting. For the Bulgarians to make peace, or for the Ottomans to come and attack. That's all I can do right now. So we'll just stay here. Hungary is doing something. Tyrol and Tuscany. Okay, a call to arms. Just looked at that. Switzerland has left the military coalition against me. That's nice. Has a quest that you come to their aid in the tyrolean Salzburgian nationalist war against Tyrol, Tuscany, and Switzerland. This is a defensive war. We need to help our ally. Tyrol is allied with Switzerland and Tuscany. Yeah, I think we could probably win that. I don't think there's any problem there. Um, Tyrol is against Hungary and Bohemia. We, we'd be fighting on the same side as Bohemia. Yeah, we might as well join. I think Hungary can do it themselves, but I don't want to lose the prestige. So we'll just join, just so then people like us. 